Hello guys, welcome back and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use page.js and the bare bones of using page.js Okay, so we'll just start right away with the code and I'll just give some links out here because the basic thing for any routing to work is that we need a link to which we can map so I'll just give it a href and give this something like a home and I'll also give this a data route property and then I'll give in something like home okay and then repeat it like thrice I'll give this users and give part users and out here I'll give in something like contact okay and here also I'll give something like contact so what this thing would do is that as soon as you click on any of these links okay there's a routing.html file already present in the polymer starter kit and in case you don't have the routing.html file already present you'll have to create it okay so what the file actually will go on to do is that it will just map these fun these urls to the function so anytime the home function is clicked where there is nothing after a url or just the home url so it will just come back to this function okay maybe i'll just put in like console.log on each of these so you can see okay so this is like this one and i'll just give in the url then i'll give this this and okay so and then this i'll give in some space and give this a home okay and maybe i'll just repeat it for each of these so you all can see then i'll just replace this part from here to users okay and then i'll do the same in the contacts area So each time what will happen is that whenever a slash users is seen in the uh, in the address bar this function will then just fire and then it will set the app.route property which will go ahead and set us the selected property in the iron pages element to a particular value and from where the data will be changed so I'll just go ahead and see what this thing does. Just remove all this, okay. And so, a mistake. I'll I've just given all these things a value of like home. So I'll just re rename this part. Okay. So as we just go into the browser, and we'll just click in the different parts and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So when we click at home, we see that this thing is. Okay, I'll just resize this part. Okay. So we can see that a URL slash home has, is seen in the console.log, which means that this function was fired as soon as we went to a address which has nothing got uh, uh, nothing got at the end. And when I click add slash users, we'll see that the function out here which has slash users mapped so that function is called and as soon as we click on the contact out here we'll see that the function which has contact slash contact map to it that function is called and we can see that the output is also shown out here okay so as soon as these things uh, as soon as we click on different kind of uh, links so different functions we can see are firing so what we next go want to go ahead and do is that we need to put an iron pages tag out there and then give it a selected property and then connect the selected properties with the app.route property out here so that the selected property like earlier we were selecting 0, 1, 2 we will now uh, give it like a discrete value like users contact something like that and then we will go ahead to select that thing so in the next tutorial guide uh, guys we will just finish off with page.js and then in the next tutorial we will see all these properties like hashbang and maybe the routes and params properties so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial guys like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it and please subscribe to the channel and thank you